Well, hey everybody, I uh, just want to give you a quick update on what's going on here with my uh, uh, guitar for the GGBO 2023 version here. And uh, worked this weekend primarily on getting the body blank ready. Got that pretty much ready to go now. I need to glue it up still, but got all my different layers all put together and figured out exactly what I'm going to do for all those layers and uh, what needed to happen to make sure I got it to the right, uh, to the thickness that I was looking for. So I uh, did all that. Uh, I'll get it glued up in the next night or two. Uh, and uh, show you guys that progress next weekend while I work on that and also get a neck blank uh, put together as well. So I'll give you guys that update on uh, next week's video. But for today, uh, it's just going to be a really quick update showing you a little bit about uh, the different layers that went into it and getting those put together. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it's coming together and being able to use a lot of the different materials from, uh, from the secretary. So uh, stick around for a second here and we'll show you what we did. I didn't see a lot of value in filling those strips all the way across, so I decided to save a little material and just to use it in the areas where I needed to plug it off from the ends. So from the sides, yeah, you'll see those little blocks where they come out the end, but that's about it. That seemed reasonable to me. So I'll get a little glue underneath these and press them in really solid. Should be good to go. And since this is the bag, no big deal. The top here I did. I took a one piece. This is rosewood, by the way. It's a leftover piece from a fretboard. Uh, and there's a bigger chunk of it so you can see a little heartwood and, and sapwood as well. And then I have one little piece I need to fix up here towards the front of the neck, where the neck pocket is going to be. So I wasn't too concerned about that either. And uh, we'll just see how this goes. So did one piece across there, but then the just smaller piece seems to make sense. So we'll see how it goes. Music. Um, Gluing up the middle section, well one of them anyway, I think I'm going to end up with two uh, middle sections of oak. One will be this, which is about three-eighths thick, and um, the other one will be about half this, so I'll get that figured out and glue those up later, see what happens. All right, this blank is just about ready to go. I got all the pieces cut and I got the middle section all glued together. To get the thickness that I wanted and to just utilize more pieces from the secretary, that is a drawer bottom in there. Yep, piece of plywood. So there we go. And to get the width that I wanted without scrapping a few extra pieces, I did find another piece of mahogany that I had in there and cut that for a center rib in between the oak. So that's what you see there in the middle. So we've got mahogany on the bottom from one of the sides. We have one of the drawer bottoms, several of the drawer sides uh, making up that middle layer of oak. And then we have uh, part another piece of the, um, the actual writing desk piece uh, that makes up that uh, book match top. So that's what we've got. So I'll get that glued up. I'm also gonna be using a, um, a veneer in between. So this is the veneer, uh, same stuff that I had that I used in the um, the sunflower bass and the other, uh, the guitar and the, the purple bass and the purple guitar that I used in between the top and the and the body. So should come out pretty cool, but that'll add to the little bit of the thickness here. We're going to come out at one and three quarters inch total overall for this body. So there we go. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks again for taking a, a few minutes out of your day to join me here. And uh, uh, join me again next week. I'll be posting up uh, how that body blank got uh, glued together and also the neck blank that I'm going to be working on as well. So uh, I'll be posting a few updates during the week on my Instagram channel, so you can always check me out there as well. That's uh, K Stoker Photo. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time.